faker. I think you're the fake hedgehog around here. Hello everybody and welcome to Wrestling is Silly. It is Wednesday night and you know what that means. It is time for the greatest stupid wrestling show on the internet. Joining me, the first of many of my special guest hosts, Tangela Merkrell. Welcome to the show. How are you this evening? Hello, hello, hello. I'm doing great. Um, I'm hoping this microphone works. <laughs> <laughs> I I can I can hear you. They can hear you. What... Radish Masawa has broken. Let me just very quickly go and fix him. Uh, his, his power was too powerful. He, he was he was just far too powerful. Uh, a little quiet. Let's okay. Let's let's turn you up a little bit. Um, say hello again. Hello. Yes, you, you should you should be better now. Um, let's give it a shot. Uh, right. So test test test. Uh, well, you see. <laughs> Kurt Angle knows he can't beat me! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we are back. I'm, I'm very, I'm very out of the groove. Uh, is that the Yakuza boss, baby? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, it's not a million miles away from Yakuza boss, baby. <laughs> uh, a little bit of the Puro history, Japanese pro wrestling history. This is Mitsuha Mitsuhara Misawa, uh, who uh, one of the four pillars of all Japan, left to found Noah um, as a radish, in which he uh, bullied in a kindergarten class <laughs> and challenged them to uh, up uproot him in a game of tug of war. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the this is one of the most famous Japanese wrestlers, and here he is dressed like a radish fighting kindergartners. That is exactly the vibe we want to go into wrestling is silly with. <laughs> I mean, what's the point? What's the point of getting into wrestling if you if you can't see a, if you can't see a legend kick <laughs> like kick a, kick a small child? <laughs> what, what is wrestling if if not just an avenue for for old Japanese men to to dress like vegetables and hit children? <laughs> it's true, it's true. If a children if a child is not crying by the end of your show, you've not done wrestling right. I oh I, I I narrowly avoided going into going into the weeds with wrestling because that no I'm gonna do it anyway. What because oh. making a child making a child cry during a wrestling show does that count throwing tequila in the face? 
Does that work? Sorry. Does that count throwing tequila in their face? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that you see that child cried of cried with joy because he got to meet <laughs> Willie Hobbs after that, he, one of his heroes. So he did in fact get to meet his heroes. Paul the Pole, thank you for subscribing with Prime, and Bude RPG, thank you for those nine months of sub, a whole a whole baby of Twitch subs. Um. I think we should I think we should get on with the show. Um I say that as the game is still loading because we've done many things update updating the sh updating the show in the break. We've done many things. Fixed WWE's loading times is not one of them. So but we have we have one hell of a show for you. For you. This game, uh it is, this game is optimized for beef. It is not optimized <laughs> for loading. It it takes a lot of time to uh it takes a lot of time to to load up all the beef and all the flips and all the all the good shit, you know. Um, but we we have we have a fantastic show for you today. I know it's it's been a while. It's been what just over a month since the last resting is silly show because I've uprooted my life much like this radish Misawa was uprooted and moved to the northwest. But we're back. We're doing we're back. We're we're doing the stupid wrestling. What? Yeah. Let's let's do a little recap with the stories. So just to catch you back up. Colonel Sanders, still the undefeated world champion, still trying to vet, still trying to vet uh, potential challenges through the medium of sending a large horse to beat them up. We have, we still have the the fight boyfriends, Majima and Kiryu, taking the tag team titles, and Majima is currently in the middle of something called the Majima Coliseum, where he's making four tag teams fight each other in order to get a shot at fighting the fight boyfriends it's incredibly convoluted but don't worry uh it'll it'll all make sense in that fun way that majima's plans always make sense the the flippy shit division champion is the one and only Karl marx who is in action this week along with his tag team partner abraham lincoln um Am I missing it? Yes. Oh, and of course, the Twitch champion is still the one and only evil Mr. M, who, as you may remember, recently, uh, recently uh, split from his team, the Dead, the Dead by Daylight faction, after Freddy Krueger interfered in a title defense and almost cost Mr. M his title. You may, you may confuse Mr. M for a certain other plumber who just had a film release, but don't worry, they yeah. are definitely different people one of them is evil that's that's uh, that's all the champs um and that uh, and speaking of speaking of the the tag champs that leads us into our first match quite nicely uh the majima coliseum uh, as i stated four teams have to fight each other and then whoever wins those matches gets into a a, a four-man cage match in order to win a tag team title shot the team of donkey kong and diddy kong the 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 Kong, Donkey Kong Country. They are they are stepping into the Majima Coliseum right now. So we are going to see Donkey Kong versus Diddy Kong. V two very different Welcome. styles. Two very different Welcome styles clashing. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Donkey Kong Country. What do you think of the, what do you think of this matchup going in before we start? Any 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 predictions or, or thoughts of these two? Well, we've as someone who has definitely played a Donkey Kong game, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and it's not just riffing off these uh, <laughs> models at all, you've got a classic like flippy guy versus big strong man match here. And you know what? People say people people talk a lot about power. People talk a lot about strength. My money is always on the flippy guy. I, I I agree. I was gonna. I'm, I'm I'm in Diddy Kong's corner. He's quite new to, to wrestling. Is silly. We've seen we've seen what Donkey Kong can do. Donkey Kong's the only man ever to make Majima tap out. But on the other hand, sometimes he can just get outsped, and nobody knows Don Donkey Kong better than Diddy Kong does. Um, so let's let's get. Yeah, that's a really good point actually, because like when tag team partners fight each other, it's it's not it's not about who's the better wrestler, right? It's about who's got the psychological advantage. Yeah, and. And again, while whilst these two men know each other, these two monkeys know each other very well, uh, Diddy Kong has had a lot of time to see what Donkey Kong can do in the ring. But did, Diddy Kong hasn't been wrestling for very long, so Donkey does not have the scouting advantage that Diddy Kong has. So I'm going to give the edge to Diddy Kong before, before we go down to the ring. Um, any last thoughts before we do head down to the ring? 
let's see some sweet flips and sweet meat. <laughs> <laughs> sweet meat. <laughs> let's let's go. <laughs> Big meaty man slapping meat. Well, yeah, got this... a packed, got a packed hall here today. Uh, this is not Karakuan Hall. This is some sort of American hall, I'm guessing. <laughs> no, this this is uh, this is g generic theatre. I love it. Right, right, right. Of course, <laughs> the, the most illustrious van venue in Washington, Oregon. Of course, yeah. <laughs> oh shit! Big man do flip. Big big man do flip. Monkeys monkeys what? famously famously do have that uh, that flippy potential about them. Oh, I love that. Oh, okay. I this. Okay, I I want to change. I want to change my <laughs> what I said earlier. <laughs> my, my like my money is always on the flippy guy, but when a big guy does the flippy, oh, I'm there. <laughs> He's cap Donkey Kong has captured your heart. <laughs> he really has, yeah. I'm very shallow. Oh, Diddy Kong looking a little nervous here. I mean, this this is this is his first solo outing here, so he's right to be a little nervous. It's true, it's true. He's so nervous he forgot his pants. <laughs> no, that was an intentional choice. He wasn't nervous oh. enough to forget to take off his pants. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. It's, see, see, this is what I talk about: psychological advantage. Yes, it's very but, intimidating but, when but, when your opponent walks in pantsless. You I mean, know that this guy do some crazy shit. Donkey Kong also pantsless, but he's pantsless with a tie, which is which is very much pantsless with intent. He's very into Fallout Boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. trying uh, trying to get the lock up here, but Diddy's too fast. Quick standing switch, a big butt bounce there from Donkey Kong. Oh, just refusing oh. to lock up with the small man now. Oh. Look at it. Look at that quick, power. Quick forearm strike and oh, springboard poison runner starting off with a bang Diddy Kong today. But Donkey Kong with the leg up just shaking off that huge impact right down on the skull. He, the thing about the thing about Donkey Kong is that he's a big man. Oof. He's a uh, he's got all that endurance. He's got all that stamina. That is, it's kind of like chopping down a big tree. Yeah, it, it's gonna take a lot to take this man down and keep him there. Uh, a, a quick, a quick rushing leg sweep takes uh, takes Donkey Kong down for just a moment, and very, very, ooh, cutter off the middle rope there, Diddy right. Kong. Diddy Kong, very quick to roll out of the way that huge elbow drop. That could have done some huge damage to Diddy this early on in the match. A lion soul. Oh, he's being very, very mean to his tag partner too, going straight for that injured back. Yeah, I mean, I mean. Oof. Diddy, Diddy Kong, usually usually more of a happy-go-lucky team. These two came together to to enjoy the sport after after Bowser wouldn't let DK have fun, but I think with a title Ooh. opportunity on the line. Knees right on that back. Oof. <laughs> you know, I I was saying that Diddy was looking nervous going in, but I think he's he's some something switched inside that tiny peanut brain underneath that cap. Oh, oh he's readying Donkey Kong up for something. What's he got in the chamber? It's gonna be something big. Oh no, just just mind games. I think uh, yeah, I think D Diddy Kong might be done having fun and really wants that title shot, but uh I think so, but I think he's made a mistake. He didn't capitalize on his momentum there. That's true. Burning daylight for a little bit too long. Ooh. Yeah. Getting the wrist control, moving over to the turnbuckle, going for a big arm drag off the top rope there. Again, target targeting, targeting the arm, targeting the back. We know Donkey Kong has that jungle vine submission, and oh, code red from Diddy Kong. Ooh, that was very impressive. Mm -hmm. I'm actually really surprised that uh, Donkey hasn't really given. Oh, never mind. I was <laughs> going to say. Oh wait, yeah, there we go. I was I was going to say that Donkey Kong hasn't really done his usual big offense moves, right? Oh, yeah. Because he's holding back a little bit. Yeah, I, I think I think Diddy D Donkey Kong might be holding back just a little bit. Huge cutter there from Diddy Kong. Oh, and goes for the moonsault with Donkey Kong rolling out of the way. I think Donkey Kong might be realizing he needs to not hold back. Oh, cover from Diddy, center of the ring. One. Oh, you got it. One. Just a one count. All that damage, all that all that offense, Diddy Diddy let off, and it's still not enough. Still Donkey not Kong's enough. Oh, rolling reverse cutter, beautiful. 
Gets the cover. Japanese Andre bit slow to count. Yeah. Ooh. Two. A two count for that uh, sort of rolling, the ne rolling neck breaker through the ropes. Once again, gra grabbing that wrist, going back up to the ropes again. That's that's good. He's he's really Diddy's really capitalizing on his momentum this time. No fucking around with the crowd. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> but you see his uh, inexperience come through. He yeah. completely missed. And can Donkey Kong? Oh, big DK oh. Lariat there. Can Donkey Kong capitalize on that little little botch from Donkey Kong? Goes for the belly to belly, but Diddy Kong in there with the elbow. Big lift from the big man. Oh, huge shoulder capture suplex. Maybe, maybe, oh, look at them go. Oof. Oh, these kicks are looking nasty. Mm -hmm. I think Donkey Kong finally broken through his psychological barrier, maybe. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, the moonsault, that's, that's but Donkey Kong just, like, I think Diddy got more damage it. from that moonsault than Donkey Kong did. Oh. I, that's the first time I've seen someone counter moonsault by just rolling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just, if you, if you roll onto your side, they moonsault right into your pelvis. Nobody tells you that in wrestling school, but it hurts. <laughs> Yeah, the pelvis is pointy, you see. Oh, yeah. Especially eight, eight pelvises. Ooh, Ooh that's... Very close near fall there. Ooh. I still think... I still think... Do you know what the main difference between these two competitors? I think... I think Diddy's got that killer instinct. Yeah, I think Donkey Kong is too worried about, you know, having a good time and just enjoying himself, whereas... Did he? Oh, big spinning wheel kick there. Takes takes the man down. I mean, oh, six thirty cent on does not hit. Oh, <laughs> Canadian destroyer head. right on target though. Gets the cover. DK looks looks like he's in another world right now. Oh, very very close fall. Did he? See, that's that inexperience coming through again. He couldn't he couldn't get it off enough to like finish Donkey Kong off the good. Lands, lands at 6.30 that time. Donkey Kong once again looks a little bit too dazed to kick out. Oh, there's the three count. Diddy Kong. Huge upset here, I think. I would Classic say, I would say huge upset. I think, I think Diddy Kong had, Diddy Kong, at the beginning of the match, it looked like Donkey Kong was going to take it, but Diddy Kong was on the offense from, from the word go, basically. That Canadian Destroyer, I think, may have... Uh, you, doctors should really check... Uh, doctors? Vets? Doctor, vets? Vets and doctorians should really check on Donkey Kong, I think, yeah. after that. We'll, we'll, we will get the appropriate medical staff in to see, donkey, to, to, see to Donkey Kong. I mean, the big question here is, like, I'm really happy for the kid, but, like, what does this mean for their tag team? I mean, all, all the teams that are in this Magic Coliseum qualifier... They all knew that they were going to have to fight each other. They all knew that they were that this was inevitable, but they signed up anyway. Um, but I think I think uh, let's go let's go back to let's go back to, to to the desk just to talk this through a little bit. I think I don't think Donkey Kong was prepared for the level of violence that Diddy Kong came in with. I agree. I think Diddy Kong really tapped into something really dark inside mm -hmm. inside him. I think that this this is this is the first time Diddy Kong's been near a title opportunity, and I think it, I think it may have gone to his head a bit. I think so, yeah. And like you know, tag team wrestling is great and all, but some some wrestlers just want that singles gold, and they'll do anything to get their hands on it. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. just a it's just a pity that that um, it may have come at the cost of his of his great relationship tag team partnership with uh with donkey kong and i mean it's it's it they're, they're quite a new tag team in wrestling silly but we know that donkey kong diddy kong their friendship goes way back like oh yeah if if diddy kong wants to put that on the line just for a title shot i mean what happens to the tag belts if they win but they're no longer a team yeah this this brings a lot of you know interesting questions about will they able to defend the tag belts if, if, if you've lost that trust between them will they vacate the tag belts will somebody else will another tag team that uh hasn't you know destroyed each other in front of a cheering crowd <laughs> will they be able to capitalize on an opportunity i mean we, we 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 have we have of course springfield sports center they are famous for destroying each other in front of a crowd uh it's, <laughs> it's, it's what got them together in the first place but 
but they can do some like it takes a special team to do that i don't think i don't think uh i don't think the kongs have it in them to maybe continue after that we'll we'll, we'll see in the magma coliseum if a uh, if Don Kong is still supporting diddy as he goes into that it's going to be very interesting to see how that shakes out yeah for sure i mean if you if you watch wrestling for um for sheer hot drama this is this is something to keep an eye on i think mm -hmm. this is this is definitely this is mm. going to be some hot drama um not many i i have to say that in my in my years of watching wrestling not many tag teams have survived uh, an outing like that no like you know like even if even if they even if they they survive this match and like the sting of that mm -hmm. the sting of that win will always be there you know and resentment yeah. and resentment builds uh especially since donkey kong's such a veteran in the industry yeah. can't feel good to be um uh overshone by the by a relatively young upstart yeah i mean D dk dk's been dk's been with wrestling silly since day one and to be to be like you said shown up by by his new by a baby according to chat um it's it's really gonna sting um it it, it takes it takes a special tag team to uh to, to 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 survive that um speaking of tag teams we're going into some some real actual tag team action now as uh everyone's favorite tag team the union is back again to challenge teamwork makes the dream works this time shrek and poe two of the biggest two two, two giants quite literally of this of this company um they've been a little bit of, they, they were on a little bit of a hot streak since uh they were on a little bit of a hot streak before we before we uh went to break um and now they're back to challenge one of the more successful teams in the division Karl marx the flippy shit champion and abe lincoln one of the early innovators of wrestling um do you, do you have any thoughts about this match we have nothing to lose about our chains we have nothing, nothing to lose but our chains. I don't think, I don't think there's any more worth saying about about this match. But let's let's <laughs> let's let's just go down to the ring and see uh, <laughs> see if these teams can survive a match. Maybe maybe give an example to the to the previous team that we just saw. My favorite kind of wrestling really is tag team wrestling. It's just it's it's. It's just so good to see like the alchemy of the chemistry of a uh, of a uh, of people in the ring working together. Um, I'd be I'd be really surprised if uh, Poe and Shrek get one over Marks and Lincoln today. <laughs> Marks, Marks and Lincoln <laughs> are Elmo. Marks and Lincoln are a surprisingly adept team. They are. If, if if you if you like tag team wrestling for the for the combination of styles for the the complementary styles, the Union is one of those teams that gives you exactly what you want to see. Rivaled, rivaled only maybe by of course the tag team champions, and uh, I maybe Doug Ziggler and God maybe have more, uh, maybe have more of a connection than these two. Doug Ziggler and God, that is a Ziggler fact I did <laughs> not know. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh yes, oh, I I did I did forget to mention that um, in in this in 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 briefing you for this, uh, Doug Ziggler, not to be confused with Dolph Ziggler, um, is in a tag team with God in wrestling. Is silly. Oh, that makes sense. If you've got Satan, you have to have God. Yeah. You you got you got to get the biggest heel and the biggest face. <laughs> in, which one's who? I'm not telling. <laughs> so that is the union, and now coming down to the ring. Is teamwork and makes the dream works. I have to say, teamwork, teamwork, make the dream works. Are, um, very confident coming in. They're they're like really mouthing off. <laughs> oh yeah, they, <laughs> right they are now. they are nothing if not confident. I mean, it's it's Shrek the ogre and Poe. Like these are maybe like the two of the biggest characters we have on the roster. These two. Look at them, like nice oozing confidence. Team, <laughs> I mean, I would too if I sold. If I uh, if I uh, got millions and millions of dollars for DreamWorks. Yeah, I mean, the, <laughs> Shrek is Shrek is like Shrek was for a while holding DreamWorks up single-handedly. I mean, if that doesn't inspire confidence, what does? It's true. It's true. Well, I mean, I know what inspires my confidence, and that is uh, and that is a. Uh, 
and that is the coming together of the proletariat <laughs> to overthrow the capitalist corporation. And uh, of course, like, Karl Marx coming oh. coming here to take down DreamWorks. It, it, it's it's the it's the it's the leftist stream, is it not? It really is. It really is. But uh, I'm unfortunately, like most leftist movements, the <laughs> Currently in a little bit of trouble right now. Yeah, DreamWorks, DreamWorks getting the upper hand right now. Just powerhousing their way through the union. And ooh, Carl managing to roll out of the way that huge elbow drop. And Lincoln managing to land some land some strikes. Oh, oh he's got oh, the choke. Big, big. It's more, less of a lift, more less of a lift, more of a oh, just push, push down. Big push slam. Yeah, a, a, a choking, choking push thing. Either way, it, it seems to, it seems to have, uh, seems to have momentarily put nice. Poe on the back foot, but he seems to have bounced back. Ooh. Nice block as well from Karl Marx, uh, blo blocking those strike, big strikes from Shrek. Got him on the ropes now. On the ropes for what's what's got. Ooh. A stunner onto the middle rope l throws Shrek to the outside. Oh, and the knee straight to the throat. Well, you know our boy, Carl. He goes straight for the jugular. <laughs> Carl, Karl Marx, like, politically, philosophically, of course, goes straight for the jugular. But as we've mentioned before, has a, has a history of drunken bar fights. So on the outside like this is very much his atmosphere. Although, oh! Oh, is it, still, is it still enough to match the raw strength of an ogre? I mean, there's only so much that, there's only so much that, uh, Beer and communism can give you big German suplex there. That was a nice one from Shrek. It was uh, quite a textbook German suplex. Oh, here we go. Oh, I thought Poe was gonna go for like some sort of uh, drop down move there, but he's just going for the kick. <laughs> yeah, just it's going for quick strikes, and I think he may have I think he may have bust Abe Lincoln open there with that with that forearm to the face. Oh Ooh. no, he got cut open the hard way. Lincoln. Uh, Lincoln might be getting some flashbacks to the grand old Opry right now. <laughs> oh, it's fine. He got it one. That's the power of America flowing through yeah, him. Yeah, it's, it's the, the power of, of being near Karl Marx. <laughs> <laughs> Karl Marx does have like a, a good defensive buff to, to, to the people around them. He does. Oh, <laughs> he's a good comrade. Yeah, it's, it's, it's that it's that comradeship passive buff that he gives all of his teammates. And now just seemingly targeting yeah. targeting the knee of Shrek. I mean, a big lifter like that, you gotta lift with your knees, so like neutralizing those knees is gonna be it's it's good tactics from from Carl. This is how this is how he wins belts. Absolutely. You gotta go for the you gotta go for that base. But that's a huge oh. lift. Wow! One-handed power <laughs> bomb there onto the monster that is Shrek. Went for the pin, but unfortunate lack of ring awareness. That's the that's the problem when you're too focused on revolutions. You have yeah. you've got to think of the bigger materialist picture. And oh, hello, that's a big airplane spin. Speaking of revolutions, there was a few there uh -oh. from Shrek onto Carl. <laughs> but Carl, Carl just Carl just shaking it off like he's like we said he's used to a revolution or two. And being being bust open seems to have uh, lit a fire under the ass of Abe Lincoln, just beating Poe in the corner. I think Shrek's. I think Shrek's gone a little berserker mode himself. He's really targeting that elbow, really trying to crush it. Oh yeah, really putting all of his weight down on that. That's that one elbow of Carl and just oh, throw, nearly throwing him into into our referee Japanese Andre. <laughs> oh, Abe seems that's to be going. It. Abe going for that tombstone grapevine. Japanese Andre too distracted, yeah. looking for the tap. Shrek's cover going completely unnoticed. Is this tactical play here from Abe Lincoln? Is Poe gonna tap? Poe has not tapped. Oh, throws. We'll kick out at one. <laughs> giving giving Carl the time to kick out at one. <laughs> Amazing That's team the synergy there. That's the See, I think I think uh, Abe Lincoln distracting the ref. Uh, not intentionally, I think, but it gave Carl Knox just long enough to get his win back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Was 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 just. I think maybe he saw like after he'd locked in that stretch, he'd saw that uh, that Carl needed a moment. But he's Carl. Carl busts open Shrek. Oh, and the fist to the oh, face, God. like punching the open wound now. <laughs> the union have the upper hand. Oh, side 
Like, Big Saito suplex dropping Shrek right on top of his head. Doing this whole match, making sure he Poe doesn't help doesn't have the ability to help his opponent. Oh, but now Poe targeting that arm. Can't go for the chokes if your arms if your arms bust. Poe got something. Oh, big spinning heel kick from Poe there. Poe get the cover. Oh. Got to break that up. Good, good teamwork there from the Union. Ref didn't even get to two. See, this is really the power that only that a that a long, fruitful um uh uh shit. What's it called? Not penmanship. Uh, pen, uh, pen, pen, pen palmanship. <laughs> palmanship, exactly. Oh, is he going for it? Can't go for that. Going for that turkey dinner on by a huge oh, swamp splash, splash there. Again. The swamp it's splash from Shrek. There's oh. Karl Marx going for a submission move there, historical materialism. <laughs> I, I think he, he might have been going for, for, for an armbar of some variety, but definitely, uh... Ooh. Oh. Definitely broke it up you so he could try... Abelin can try and go for that lariat, but Shrek beat him to the punch, unfortunately. Oh, another monstrous power bomb there. All the power uh, in that one arm. Oh, oh, very close. Deep hooks, but very Shrek close. managing to power out. Oh, combination of strikes there from Poe. We forget, we forget that Poe has that uh, that kung fu background. He's more than just a monster. Oh, and another quick spinning heel kick puts Lincoln down for the count. Oh, the Carl Marx is shocked by this. Carl is not happy at all. The three count from that big spinning heel kick. I have to admit, I am surprised too. It, it, it. I hate to say this, but uh, perhaps capitalism has won today, yeah. as it does on many days. <laughs> this day, like many others. Uh, this, this, so despite despite the technical prowess and the synergy of the union, they were simply out muscled. Yeah, I think it was. It was just sheer power from teamwork makes the dream works that uh that is that, that won the day in the end let's uh let's go back to the desk and and and, and talk about what do you think is next for both of these teams oh i mean like with the uh, teamwork teamwork makes the dream works they they can't they've uh they've been on the break as well for a while right so i think this this puts them this was a great showing from them um, and it puts them, I think, in the path to for maybe a, a shot at the tag titles. They they've been they've been they've been on a bit of a they've been on a bit of a streak. Uh, obviously, before we went to break, they were on a bit of a hot streak, and they've continued it. They've not let that break oh. slow them down at all. But I think you may be right. I think a tag title shot may be maybe in their future. As for as for the union, I mean, with Carl having to sort of split his duties between obviously being flippy shit champion and the. And the tag, the tag teams now, obviously, something had to go on the back burner. Um, and then I think we're seeing the effects of Carl trying to uh, trying to play for both teams, as it were. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, Carl Marx very famously married to a woman and also Mark and Elsa Engels. <laughs> play, playing for both teams, some, something something he was, of course, very good at. Um, <laughs> Speaking of Karl Marx and the Flippy Shit Division Championship, uh, one of the one of the other members of the Flippy Shit Division, the Scarecrow, um, to to say he to say he gave us something to to play out on stream is a bit of a misnomer. I found in 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 the office on the way here to to the commentary desk, I saw um, a bag with a VHS tape inside of it that just read, "Play this or else." Um, uh -oh. And I think now now is as good a time as any to 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 play the the I I'm going to guess promo from the scarecrow um, threatening message threatening message ransom note I don't know I don't know what to or I don't know what to believe the scarecrow anymore but let's let's take a look and hope it's not like hope he doesn't have a hostage <laughs> so uh, let's 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 see that out maybe uh, maybe it's a TikTok challenge maybe it is a TikTok challenge. Uh, I my my button is not working for whatever reason. Let me let me let me try and refresh my button. It's all falling apart right now, as as it as it always does. Let's see if the button works now. No, I'm gonna have to do it manually. Oh dear. 
Let's let's see what Skakro had. To, let's see what Skakro had uh, had for us all. Have you ever felt fear? Calm. You walk around this building with that belt around your waist as if it means anything on you. You are the champion, the champion of what, Carl? Ascending a ladder, undoing a lock. You have not fought your way through anything. You have now stepped into a ring one-on-one -on -one with the fiercest member of this division, nay, of this company. And of course, I know why. You fear me, Carl. You fear stepping into the ring with me, but you don't even fear pain that will inflict upon your body. Oh, no, no, no. You're a smarter man than that, Carl. You fear that I will reveal you as a fraud to the world. So you run. And you make token defenses against jokes, and you hide behind your larger friend. But I am done chasing you, Carl. Birthday bash. I will take your title, but I will leave you your life, and you will thank me. That was intense. <laughs> I think he has taken a hostage, and that hostage is a video editor. Someone <laughs> saved that person. <laughs> Someone, yeah, I think I think he's 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 taken a, a nice video editor hostage, uh, but he's very much made his made his name known on the circuit. That is a a big challenge for Karl Marx's title, um, and a very a very big change in tone for the rest of the show. There's, there is a tone for this show, Scarecrow, and you are breaking it with with all of this bullshit. <laughs> Scarecrow did not read the show book. Sca yeah, uh, I mean, very bad man of him. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 very in character for old for old Scarecrow. But uh, we've got. I I believe we may have our first our first match for birthday bash. May be in the bag. I mean, birthday bash. Of course, the celebrating the birthday of wrestling is silly to be, uh, and that is going to be at the end of the month. And I think we're going to have a flippy shit division title on the line. Karl Marx versus Scarecrow. I mean, you, you've not seen the Scarecrow in the ring. He's one of the more unpredictable wrestlers, as you could probably imagine. But, uh, but I'm I'm surprised. Okay, I'm surprised that he um, didn't set the stipulation. To be honest, I mean, he. It's maybe maybe he doesn't think he needs a stipulation. Maybe he just thinks because clearly clearly he doesn't take Karl Marx seriously as a competitor with with all that talk of you know. Uh, token defenses and hiding behind a large friend. I mean, clearly he doesn't take Mark seriously as a competitor, so maybe he just thinks showing him up in the ring is going to be enough of a stipulation. Just sheer brutality mm -hmm. would be enough. I can see that. He was in a a, um, a, uh, a certain kind of vest. Let me put it that way. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's... <laughs> it, it was... They, they, they were not explosives. They were syringes. They were full of fear gas. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Okay, I was worried. I again, as someone who has definitely, definitely read a Batman cartoon, <laughs> I had no idea what those were. <laughs> they are they're syringes full of fear serum. They make you fear things. Speaking, speaking of uh, speaking of hard hitting brutality, uh, who remembers Superman and the Empire? It's been a while since we talked about Superman and the Empire. Um, they, the, the, they, they were, they ran, they ran roughshod over the, the entire division, um, through the latter half of last year, and only, only once Superman was was un, was unmasked and and un, unseated as the champion by Colonel Sanders, they they sort of slid down the card a little bit, and now Goku is as as Jedi pointed out in the chat, Goku has summarily fucked them up. Um, Goku trying to get his way into a match against Superman. Fought through, fought through the webmaster, fought through uh, Steve Rogers, and then Prince Adam didn't show up, which is interesting. <laughs> Prince Adam now has uh, has decided that he wants a match against, and in his this is his words. He sent he sent me a note, um, not even on the Empire's headed paper, just just a, a, a scrawled out note. Um, he he sent me a message saying, "I want to fight a big evil leader." And well, we've said him. I, I don't know why he could possibly want to fight a big evil leader, but 
we set him up with a big evil leader. Um, any, any, I, I won't reveal to you who it is exactly. We'll let, we'll let the entrances speak of themselves there. But with, uh, obviously, you, you can, you can see them backstage. Any thoughts of this match before we go down to the ring? Well, you can't get bigger and eviler and redder than this guy. And on that, I mean that in in this <laughs> in this ring that doesn't narrow it down. <laughs> that's, that's true. Um, I I I am going to be excited to see young young Adam prove himself against perhaps one of the greatest um, existential philosophical evils of G the modern Western society. At least the, at least the Judeo Christian part of it. So it's Garfield then, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 totally. <laughs> let's 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 head down to the ring uh, and see uh, how he's supposed to do the predictive. You don't tell me who's fighting. You'll see. There's an entrance. You'll manage. Let's go down to the ring. <laughs> let's go down to the ring and, uh, <laughs> and 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 sort it out. I mean, like as as, <laughs> as as people are pointing out, there's there's a lot of people that large existential threat could refer to in this company. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh, Garfield. <laughs> I mean, that's what you want, right? Out of a wrestling company, you want to turn on your TV and 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 then and then, and then enter like a two-hour fugue state of uh, <laughs> questioning what you're doing with your life. That's that's basically what wrestling is, right? Yeah, essentially. Did he? Uh, did he beat up? What's his name from Back to the Future with that vest? <laughs> I think he he and Marty both. Both know the, the the same guy that sold two of those vests, because nobody else owns a pink vest like that. <laughs> and yeah, very interesting. He's he's not coming out in his Empire duds. The Empire very famous for their black and gold matching outfits, and uh, Adam coming out in his old school like his, his his old school outfit is very interesting. It's almost as if he's trying to set himself apart in some way from his faction. Maybe. I mean, he's not coming out to the Empire's music. He's not coming out in his Empire clothes. He is driving a wedge between himself and the Empire, it seems. Interesting. Very interesting. We've seen this. I mean, we've seen, we've seen this before in factions, right? Especially factions ruled with an iron fist. Um, you can't keep people in line with fear for a very long time. It's only a, it's only a good motivator for so long. Exactly. Exactly. At some point, you want to make your own mark in the world. Uh-oh, here we go. Got a little witchy aura. And here is the big red evil himself. <laughs> Satan making his way down to the ring. How many candles do you think he goes through in a night? <laughs> his candle budget. I... He asked me to do his accounts once. His candle budget is ridiculous. It's it's like four <laughs> figures, and like we're talking a month. Four figures in a month. Honestly, that's not. Honestly, that's that's less than I thought it would be. He, he is he is the drill tweet. <laughs> Someone help him balance his budget. He's running out of souls. <laughs> I I as a. As a gear aficionado, I have to say, I appreciate the nipple tassels. I think they really bring something to the look. They're very intimidating. I, the nipple tassels are very good. Adds a little bit of flair to the outfit. <laughs> yeah. Are they magnetic? I want to know. Is, 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 is Satan just one giant magnet? <laughs> I, I think I think uh, he is he is famously persuasive. He's got that magnetic personality. Maybe he's so magnetic in personality it, it extends to his physical body. That's true. That's true. I mean, like imagine. I mean, if 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 you were a little tassel and Satan told you stay on my titty, I think you would just stay on your titty, right? Stay on his titty, right, Mike? <laughs> stay on that <laughs> Satan titty. <laughs> Satan oh. has his nip knops pierced. Of, of course, <laughs> Pier piercings makes a lot of sense as well. It does, yeah. I it's not very often as well that uh, that Prince Adam slash He Man is the smaller man in the ring. I was I was just about to bring that up. Uh, Prince Adam, the the <laughs> the powerhouse of the Empire, not used to being the smaller man, but Satan towering over him and lifting him with ease, and just baby, oh. like a baby boy, the bridal <laughs> that bridal carry throw. Yeah, like a small child, and just oh. Splash off the ropes there. 
I can never get over Satan's tiny wings. I love them so much. I mean, he did fall from heaven, like... He did. Having tiny wings like that, they're not... It's not aerodynamic, you know? Not at all. Oh, that Whoa. was... That was a very near squash by Satan. I... I'm... Wow. I'm honestly shocked. Whoa, okay. I... <laughs> Big then show again, of force well, here. <laughs> what else did we expect from the King of Darkness? I mean, yeah, like, uh, you, you're, you're shocked that Satan has come out here and dominated. I mean, Prince Adam, they're fighting back. I think fighting back. He's, he's, something's lit fire under him, but Satan cannot let him capitalize on that momentum. Two trying, quick reversals. But Satan firing back at some of his own. Quick back club, and they're just, oh, yanking back at the throat. Oh. I have to say, Satan is treating uh, Prince Adam like you would uh, a young boy or like a trainee mm. uh, in the new, in like the Japanese dojo system. Like he's not he's not pulling out any fancy moves. He's 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 trying to beat him with the basics. Yeah. <laughs> and some sometimes, oh, guillotine off the top rope there, going for the cover once again. Right on the throat. We I think uh, Prince Adam is really fighting from the bottom here, mm -hmm. as he usually does. <sighs> <laughs> oh, Satan whipping the punch there. Whipping the punch oh. there. Goes, oh. for, goes for the two-handed... Could not land that two-handed choke slam. Big rolling lariat oh. there. Takes Satan off his feet. Good move from Prince Adam, trying to neutralize mm -hmm. those uh, meaty arms of Satan. Goes for the trying choke. To, to Ooh, oh. A big gut punch taking Satan off his feet. I think that may have taken taken the big red by surprise. <laughs> Clubbing blows there from Prince Adam. Prince Adam finally getting it into the groove. Oh, big five and carry into the Falcon Arrow. Deep hooks. One, two. Oh. Oh, nobody kicks out of the Falcon Arrow! Satan, Satan just did, and then rolling out of that <laughs> splash attempt from Prince Adam. Oh, you can see he's a little winded there. I think he's uh, he's kind of learned his lesson now. Yeah. You can't take, can't take this man uh, unseriously. Just Get him your A game. Throwing him down and just, oh! Crunching the shoulder, trying to pinch those nerves of Prince Adam. Uh, Satan, as we all know, an expert in she 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 out through massage. <laughs> oh, oh the, the disrespect! The, the open hand slap, open palm slap. Oh, goes to the rolling senton, but could not land it. Very back and forth from Prince Adam here. He seems to not be able to stay in that groove. Oh, goes up. Oh, lifts up and big sit out power bomb. Ooh. That's the seven deadly sins right there. Yeah. It's landed. Cover, center of the ring. Could this be it? Oh, and the three wow. count. That one. Put away. Handily. Heavily in favor of Satan. Prince Adam could not get into the groove at all. But a valiant effort, I would say. You know, I think, you know, when, when, uh, Young men do this all the time. They bite off more than they can chew. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when a big dog goes up against them, and an even bigger dog to try and show dominance, it sometimes doesn't work out in its favor. I mean, yeah, he, he 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 was angry. He wanted to go against some. He, he he wanted to go against an evil leader, and I think he like, like you said, he bit off more than he could chew, and uh, Satan very quickly slapped him back into place, like. Look at him. He hasn't even. He he ha, he's not even sweating. Yeah, he's, he's, he looks like he's, he's come back from a nice walk to the satanic bar. <laughs> the, the the satanic <laughs> bar. He does. He doesn't even look <laughs> yeah, winded. No. Uh, no. Let's go. Let's go back down to the uh, to the commentary desk. I mean, Prince Adam clearly clearly got a chip on his shoulder about about. Let's address the elephant in the room. He's not been happy with Superman since Superman uh, has been kind of burying the entirety of the empire. Um, Superman buried the entirety of the Empire when he lost his belt, trying to take trying to take the rest of the faction down with him. And the thing about ruling with an iron fist, it, it works until you are toppled. And I think we're seeing the the Empire falling apart at the seams, especially especially with with regards to Prince Adam.
Um, yeah, I can't, I can't help but think about how he entered with in his old gear, his old pre-Empire gear, in order to send a statement to Superman, no doubt sitting at home. But he, but you know, it didn't quite work, did it? It did not work <laughs> in his favor, I must say. Um <laughs> He managed to prove himself, right, as a as a as the better leader, the stronger wrestler. He got squashed in five minutes, I think, by my count. Yeah, it, it was it was a very quick match. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if if maybe this could send Prince Adam just crawling back to Superman for an apology, or maybe it will just invigorate him further. Um, I he, he's really... he's a he's a yeah, tricky we'll... guy to get a hold of. Yeah, we we really have to see the thing about the thing about uh the thing about uh you know empire as well is like the minute the minute they smell weakness, right? Everybody else is going to capitalize on that. Mm -hmm. And right now, I think Prince Adam's finding himself in a very weak position. Yeah, he's he's definitely not left himself in a good light. Uh, mm -hmm. The empire does not tolerate weakness. We've seen that time and time again. Um, but the, it, it's it's going to be interesting to see how this falls out for for. Adam and for the rest of the Empire. Um, we we have reached, we have just about reached the halfway point of the show. So we're going to take a very brief 90 second interval um, and we'll be back with more silly wrestling action in 90 seconds. Go and get yourself a quick drink, go for a quick wee. Once again, we'll be back in 90 seconds. Uh, let's, fingers crossed, see if the Who's That Pokemon thing works. Let's go. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm the high speed key champion. Be right back. Hello, hello. Welcome back, everybody, to Wrestling is Silly, your favorite weekly silly wrestling show. I'm very happy that my Who's That Pokemon thing worked. I don't know if you saw it tangled up on the stream, but I've been trying to get that to work. When I go to an ad break, did you watch Pokemon as a kid? I did, you know, surprisingly. <laughs> it's, it's the first time you, you've had a touchstone that's worked. Wonderful. You know that You know that Who's That Pokemon thing that they do in the ad before the ad breaks? I've got that in my ad breaks and it worked. <laughs> Incredible. 
it, is it with a Pokemon though? Is it with a wrestler? It, it's with a Pokemon for now. I may do it with a wrestler at some point later. It just, it, it it picks a random Pokemon. It plays their cry when it reveals them. It's uh, it's I cannot believe it's what I've been trying to make that work for literally months. Um, I'm so happy for you. And yes, it is it has worked <laughs> now. Um, <laughs> do I get louder when I'm in this costume? I shouldn't get louder when I'm in this costume. Um, <laughs> But it, it would not. It would not shock me if it, ha if it did happen. That's, that's exactly the kind of jank this stream would be good for. <laughs> so, uh, who's that wrestler would be extremely fun. You're like, you just hear like glass smashing, and you're like, who's that? Bro? <laughs> it's so called Steve Austin. <laughs> but if you're just working from silhouette, a lot of it would just be silhouette of a bald man. <laughs> 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 yeah, like big bald muscular dude in wrestling really doesn't narrow it down. I mean, yeah, I mean, when when you when you just reduce them to silhouettes, what really is the difference between Cesaro and Stone Cold Steve Austin? <laughs> the beer, the beer. <laughs> Do I in fact get louder? I should, I should, I will fix that at some point later down the line. Um, I think I may have found out what makes me louder. Have I gotten quieter now by any chance? <laughs> Um, yes, I believe, I believe I know why I'm louder now, <laughs> but I fixed it. I fixed it. We're all good. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back to the wrestling. Um, because as we, as, as we have alluded to previously, birthday bash is coming up at the end of the month and a big, a big fancy seasonal event round here. That means we're going to be giving out the smiley case once again. It started out with with the 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 summertime silliness rumble. Then we had then we had a I believe it was a, a ladder match. We had a we had an elimination chamber match, and we are going to be having a five way birthday present match this time on birthday bash. And that means we've got some qualifiers. So we've looked at the list of all of the all of the wrestlers. Uh, we looked at their win records with their win loss records. We've looked at how much the audience loves or maybe hates them. And we've put together some some smiley case qualifiers. This is the first one that you're going to be seeing today. Uh, and Tangler, you're in for a treat because you get to see Garfield in action. I cannot wait. Gar I hate Mondays. <laughs> Garfield. <laughs> and I love Garfield. <laughs> Garfield is in action against the one and only Gordon Ramsay, who, as you may know, as you may remember, came to this came to wrestling is silly the first week, brought bringing the Raw title in his hand, claiming he needed to defend it. So, summarily lost it in the first ever episode of Wrestling is Silly, uh, and has been trying basically trying to get it back ever since then. Um, it's not worked out so well for him, especially now the Raw title has been retired by Colonel Sanders. Uh, so, Gordon maybe now just wants another another belt or case or something he can call his own. So, him and Garfield are fighting for a place in the Smiley Case birthday present match. Uh, I know you haven't seen either of these people in the ring before, but do you have any insight before we go down to the ring? I mean, I just looking over what you sent me before we started the stream, I think Mr. Ramsey is going to be made into lasagna. I mean, we've seen a lot of people fall to the I'm sorry, John, before. I think, I think, uh, <laughs> I think lasagna, one way or another, there's going to be some lasagna on somebody's face. Uh, let's go down to the ring and see how this all shakes out. As we, as we both know, um, a reality TV star is no match against Eldritch Horror. Of course, of course. <laughs> <laughs> it's always oh, sorry. it's always good when somebody sees it for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not like contributing to the atmosphere though. <laughs> oh shit. <clears throat> I think he's got John Soul in that in that lamp. John's soul, Odie's soul, is is mm. there's definitely something yeah, something good. not good in that lamp. Mm. 
Whenever I see, like, Garfield like this, I just think, what happened? What drove you to become this? You were, you were such a cute little cartoon animal. Um, and then now you're just this big, horrible monster. This nightmare. Anything, like, I think, I think one too many bad Mondays. Like, one too many Mondays can, can turn you into something like this. Um... I think real. Yeah, it's we've 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 already mentioned it once, but uh Monday is of course famous starting the work week, I think I think maybe there's a there's an alliance in Karl Marx and Garfield. Um hating the nine to five, hating the Monday. True, but I they they've taken two very different approaches to that. They're... Karl Marx um Karl Marx wants wants to dismantle obviously the the uh, machinery of capitalism that devalues labor, that steals labor from the uh, from the worker. Garfield has just transcended reality. <laughs> Gar <laughs> Garfield, uh, as, as, as Bude has mentioned in the chat, Garfield doesn't go to work or school. He hates Mondays because John leaves him. And now, John is trapped in the lamp, and he can never leave Garfield again. Freeing Garfield to do whatever the fuck he wants, clearly. <laughs> Yeah, Garfield is uh, Garfield is all powerful now. But is he powerful enough to take down this man, his opponent, whose whose music did definitely not play early? <laughs> his his, oppo his opponent, a Scotsman in a culturally insensitive <laughs> robe. <laughs> it is a chef's robe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's insensitive to chefs. <laughs> Bah, bah. <laughs> can, can Garfield take down Gordon Ramsay? Questions you can only ask on wrestling is silly. Well, uh, I don't think we'll have any trouble. Uh, Garfield will have any trouble getting his offense to stick. <laughs> uh, He's definitely not. He's definitely not brought the nonstick pants into the <laughs> ring. <laughs> Just John's soul. Gordon Ramsay uh, playing to the crowd a little bit there. He's still coasting off his celebrity, as we both as we both know. Much like Logan Paul in the WWE. Oh, yeah, there's there's definite parallels here between uh, Gordon Ramsay and Logan Paul. Um, <laughs> I I I, I have. Gordon, Ram Gordon Ramsay dropped the crypto. <laughs> What's a crypto wallet, Kate? <laughs> Oh, maybe he's dropping the raw coin. Maybe that maybe that's what he's gonna do after he wins the smiley case. The three amigos fresh out the gate. The start of the main course and the dessert all fresh out the gate here for Gordon. As we know, Gordon Ramsay, big Eddie Guerrero fan. I mean, <laughs> the, it, 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 when, show does very well in Mexico. When 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 Hell's Kitchen takes place in Mexico, the kitchen's got that Latino heat, you know. <laughs> <laughs> And he does, in fact, lie, cheat, and steal. <laughs> and and From his investors. <laughs> and other Eddie Guerrero things. <laughs> oh, middle rope moonsault there. We, I, I, whenever I see Gordon enter the ring, I forget he's got this very athletic style. But Garfield with the knees up, right on that old back. The thing, the thing about wrestling that athletic style as a. As an older gentleman, it does it does really wear on you. Mm -hmm. it, it definitely gives your matches a, a strict time limit. And if Garfield yes. can just wait Gordon out, there's a clear victory here. And Garfield, we've seen, can go for those longer matches. He does, yes. Much like Brian Danielson. Mm. Uh, I would love to watch Garfield do a 60-man Iron Man <laughs> match. I think, he could, I think he could really wrestle it. I think he, I think uh, he really could. And Ooh. Ooh. The gut buster there, right on right on the knee, and just flipping out of that what, what could have been a potentially terrible move from Gordon. Garfield here definitely Again has the upper hand. Oh the backdrop lands the second time though. Good counter from Gordon, but how many does he have left in this match? Mm -hmm. Oh delayed Going vertical. Garfield slipping out the back door though. Grabs the waist. Big German suplex. Oh, oh. Excellent reversal, Gordon Ramsay couldn't couldn't just couldn't cinch it in time. I think I think the the, the reversal landed and God, Gordon was on his back before he realized that Garfield had even reversed. So that, that's that's the thing, you know, like he's been out of the kitchen for so long. I think he's just forgotten how to cook. Mm -hmm. I think he needs he needs to he needs to 
go back to the days of the line cook and just start start fresh, you know? Yeah, learn how to peel vegetables again. Mm -hmm. uh, get his Boston crabs in. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Quick, quick gut kick there. <laughs> Fundamentals. Oh, now just taking a moment to, to, to get in the head of Garfield, <laughs> taunting him. Uh, un unfortunately, Garfield, uh, Garfield's brain does not work like a normal human. He, you can't taunt something that works in the 13th dimension. No, that is that is very true. Garfield does not respond to, uh... Ooh! Does respond to that, yeah. though. Ev everyone, everyone responds to that. Oh, we seem to be having a little bit of a... Little bit of... Ooh, oh, the I'm sorry, John lands. That was... But, what well, I, I... Interesting that he's not going for the pin. Mm. I think I think Gordon's made I think Gordon's made him very angry. <laughs> yeah, Gordon Gordon has upset this man. Uh, Look at him positioning him for something awful in there.